Hi everyone, it's Sura from Sura Center. One of the questions I'm most often asked is, how do I combine healing, coaching, meditation, and yoga together for clients? I work with clients individually and also in groups. Individually, I found that oftentimes clients would show up and they had a lot of mental chatter going on. It was just a busy, busy, busy mind. And it was almost as if we had to get through all of this busyness and all of this chatter just to get to the heart of the matter, just to get to a deeper place. So what I began doing was showing people just how to breathe and how to meditate. So in the beginning of a coaching session, we'll start by sitting in meditation and I'll guide gently a client through meditative process where he or she is paying attention to their breath, their body, and clients learn how to ground and center themselves. And during that process, I administer an energy healing. So what's an energy healing? I am actually not doing anything to the other person, but what happens is when we're really fast and chaotic up here, it creates a ton of static in our mind, body, spiritual system. It doesn't allow things to flow. So you'll notice that when your mind's really fast, your breath tends to be shallow. And what you're doing is you're evening out the life force energy and a person's energetic body. What you're doing is you're smoothing out the energy and you're allowing the energy to flow in a way that's optimal within that person's system. And when you clear the noise, what you receive from that is more clarity, stillness, and depth. And that usually takes about 10 to 20 minutes with an individual client. And after then, we go into a coaching session. And that's when somebody's really able to communicate from a deeper place. One of the hallmarks of the kind of coaching that I offer, which I also help train other coaches to do, is what I call meditative coaching. In this process, I help people achieve a state of meditation within themselves. And this is after we have talked a little bit. And then I'll ask them coaching questions while they're in a deeper state within themselves. And this isn't hypnosis. It's actually a higher state of awareness. And what often happens is that when there isn't so much back and forth talking and processing, but just a lot more stillness and awareness and presence, when you ask questions, the answers to those questions come through so much more clearly. The intuitive insight is direct. It's just a direct perception that they're able to receive. And that's really what I'm doing in the coaching process is helping people to connect to their intuitive self, their true self, who they really are. And, and that means making life choices and decisions that don't have to do with the people around us that are really coming from our own selves. And at the end of a session, what I often do is I repeat back to a client the things that we spoke about that were really important, the things that they wanted to create, the things that they wanted to intend, the things that they said that they were going to do. And it's almost like a prayer. It's an intention that just solidifies the entire session and what's most important is what happens after the session so it's great if you feel inspired after an hour an hour and a half but what do you do when you go into your real life are you doing the things that you say you're going to do so in that case I hold people accountable and I assign homeworks to clients just to move them in small steps into a positive direction a direction that they want to create in their life and that's how I combine these modalities together um, some clients will request to have the yoga integrated, and it's wonderful because the blocks in our body, the, you know, they're, they're the blocks in our life. So when we're able to work on all the different levels, physical through yoga, spiritual healing through spirit, and the mind with meditation, so teaching people how to calm their mind, and you're able to work on these different levels, it becomes much more effective. 
and the same goes with groups. So when we're working in groups, what I find is that the ability to elevate the energy becomes much higher because you're working together. And oftentimes we start with body-centered awareness, with yoga movements, with um, meditation, and then we're going into those meditative guides, those journeys together, and as a community sharing our experience because we all go through similar experiences. We all share the same fears, the same dreams, the same hopes, um, everything. It's, we're so much more similar than we are dissimilar. And I find that working in groups is, is very powerful and effective. I enjoy working in groups as well. And you're empowering people with the tools. And that's what I think is most important is you're giving people life tools so that when you're not with them, they're able to use those tools for themselves. If you have any questions about the process in which I work, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. Namaste.